Hey y'all, it's Key. In this video, you're gonna see a handful of styles that you can do once your curl former set has started to sort of fizzle out a little bit, like it had in this particular clip. Um, this is day two of my curl former set and I just wasn't pleased with the look of the curls anymore. So I just pulled each twist up to the top of my head and once I had them all gathered, I just did a bunch of bobby pins going around the top of my head to hold those curls in place. It took about 30 seconds to do this style, really easy and cute. Now that night I decided, you know, since the curls were loosening up and there was not gonna be any saving them, that I would just go with the flow. And so what I did next was I did my pin curls. Now if you saw my pin curl set on uh, flat ironed hair, then you already know my pin curl style. I just wrap my hair around a roller fake it like I'm gonna roll it, and then I just slide it off and pin the hair in place. So I'm gonna show you what I did with the hair when I woke up the next morning. Okay hey y'all, so it is the next morning and I'm just taking each bobby pin out of its pin curl and I'm just shaking. Now as you can see the pin curls really loosened up the curls. Um, it's left me with very little definition so I'm going to have big pretty fluffy hair today. Shaking it so hard that I actually lose one of my earrings. The shame! So you will notice for the rest of the video that I am rocking one solitary fly earring okay now so this is um what i did to to sort of transition into style number one i decided to um give a little height in the front of my hair so i just bunched up some hair at the front and did a little pompadour action and i really like this style i i say the easier the better um but after doing this little pompadour style I played around with my hair even more and so before I actually left for work I had figured out four different hairstyles that I loved from these uh, pin curls so let's look at each one of them. Now look number two happens so fast if you blink you'll miss it. There it is right there. Just grabbing a little bit more hair and pulling it back so your hair is sort of half up, half down. And here's look number three. Just grabbing the, the whole head, I guess, and pinning it all up. There's my husband's arm. Hey, honey. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I just grabbed the rest of the hair and slid it up with a big old clip. And then when I noticed that I had missed a piece of hair, I just bobby pinned it in place. So that was look two slash three. Now we're going to transition into the look that is my favorite. And um, look number four happened when I just took all the hair down and decided to rock a center part. I just thought it would look so pretty to have 
um, sort of big hair rocking around a center part. Um, so I did a roll tuck and pin so that all the curls were sort of focused at the sides and the back. Um, if you've never tried a roll tuck and pin, it's a really easy way to just sort of give you some elegance, pull your hair off your face. <laughs> Bye, honey. Um, and I like it with just one side rolled up, but I also like it with the other side rolled up. I just thought this was adorable. However, the day that I was doing this style was a really humid, nasty day in lovely South Carolina. And so I knew that my curls were not going to make it through the day. So what I ended up doing was my final look. And that is grabbing the hair and um, pulling it up. And so this was my personal favorite. I just took that roll tuck and pin back a little bit further. And then I pulled all the hair up into that clip. And I love how versatile our hair is. Don't y'all just love playing in our hair? It is just the most fun. You just cannot go wrong. So um, if you ever find that you have a curl set that is just... It's just dying. You know, try some of these styles and hopefully it'll give you a good hair day. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. See you next time.